Dear viewers, in this video, I will describe the AutoCAD installation procedure. After installation, I will introduce the basics of its graphical user interface for a brief overview of the software. So let's begin with the setup installation process. For installation of AutoCAD software, you need the setup files. So for this purpose, just sign into your Google account and use this link to get to this shared folder, AutoCAD resources. So the link is given in the description of this video. And you can also use this QR code to get to that shared folder, AutoCAD resources. In this AutoCAD resources folder, you will get the zip file of AutoCAD setup. So the size of the setup is almost half GB. And the other file is AutoCAD 2007 book, so which can be a good reference for learning this AutoCAD. You can also download this book. So once download is started, so just wait for these downloads to be completed. When downloading is complete, then you will find these files and folders in this setup folder. You can start setup by readme.txt. This text file is about installation instructions for AutoCAD 2007. So read these instructions step by step and follow for the complete installation of the setup. So start the installation procedure with setup.exe file. Set the destination folder and click install and then wait for the installation to be completed. Now proceed with the installation. You can give the serial number here and then click next. Complete all the fields here. You have to select the typical installation. In typical installation, you don't need to install optional tools. Click next. and finish the installation. Now follow the further installation instructions step by step in this readme.txt to complete the installation process. When installation is complete, then to launch the software, go to the C drive program files AutoCAD 2007 folder. And in this folder, you will find this file acad.exe. So click this file to launch the software or you can click the AutoCAD 2007 icon or shortcut at the desktop to launch the software. Here you will see the workspace selection menu. So in workspaces, we have two workspaces here. First one is 3D modeling. So 3D modeling workspace is used to create three dimensional drawings. While second one is AutoCAD Classic. So AutoCAD Classic will be used to create two dimensional drawings. So select AutoCAD Classic and press OK. So this is the graphical user interface of AutoCAD Classic. So close these toolbars. If somehow you are unable to get to this graphical user interface, then see how you can manually open new template with AutoCAD Classic. In menu bar, click on File and then click on New. So here you will see the Select Template menu in which you can find different templates according to different standards. In Selection of Template menu, you will find ACAD, ACAD.dwt, which is AutoCAD template. And near Open, you will find this menu. Open with no template in imperial units and open with no template in metric units. So we have to select open with no template metric. So then you will get this user interface. Now I will introduce some basic components of this graphical user interface, which you will see here. 
whenever you will bring the cursor at any tool and pause there, then you will get this text box. So this text box is basically the name of that tool and it is called tooltip. So here you can see that this tool is line type control. So you can hop on different tools and pause there to see their tooltip and to know the name of that tool. So in this GUI at the top we have menu bar. So in menu bar you will see different menus, file, edit, view, insert, format. So these different menus shows the different tools which can be used in AutoCAD. Then under the menu bar we have standard toolbar mentioned in this blue box. So this is complete standard toolbar. This standard toolbar has different standard options of AutoCAD like opening new file, closing, saving, and uh, uh, undo, redo, and further some standard tools of the AutoCAD like pan, zoom, and even a quick calculator. Then next to the standard toolbar is the styles toolbar highlighted in this purple color. So this styles toolbar has basically text style control, dimension style control, and table style controls. So whenever we have to set the style of tables, dimensions, and text, so then we will use this toolbar. Then under the standard toolbar is the workspace toolbar highlighted in light green. So this Workspace toolbar will allow us to select the required workspace of the AutoCAD. So we can select between AutoCAD Classic and AutoCAD 3D modeling from this workspace toolbar. Then next to it is Layers toolbar highlighted in orange. So Layers toolbar will allow us to select between different created layers and different tools and properties manager of that layers. Then next to it is properties toolbar, which is highlighted in pink. So this properties toolbar is very important as it will show us the properties of different drawn objects. So we have three properties of any object. That is color control, line type control, and line weight control. So every object in AutoCAD has these three properties, color, line type, and line weight. So on left side, we have vertical toolbar, which is called draw toolbar. So this draw toolbar has drawing tools. So all these drawing tools will be required when we have to create a new object in AutoCAD. These drawing tools are line, construction line, polyline, polygon, rectangle, arc, circle, and so on. In the center, this black area is called drawing area or model space. So anything we create in AutoCAD will be drawn in this drawing area or model space. So this model space is infinite space. And in this infinite space, we can draw any smaller object and any bigger object by giving its coordinates. Before working in this model space, we always set the drawing limits. So we always have drawing limits according to the uh, size of drawing sheet. So first we will specify the drawing limits before working and or creating drawing in model space. On the right side, we have modified toolbar in this vertical toolbar, which is highlighted in yellow. So in modified toolbar, we have all the modified tools. So these modification tools will be used when we have already created an object and we want to modify any dimension or any other feature of that created object. So these modified tools are erase, copy, mirror, offset, array, move, rotate, scale, stretch, trim, and extend, and so on. So remember that we will always 
use modify tools when we have already created objects using draw tools so already drawn tools can be further modified using modify tools so the cursor of the mouse will turn into a plus sign whenever you will bring cursor into the drawing space so this plus sign is called crosshairs and at the intersection of this plus sign you will see a small box a square which is called pick box so this pick box will be used to select any object on the screen when you activate any command or tool in autocad then you will see that blue box with crosshair so this blue box is called dynamic input tool tip so this dynamic input tool tip will show you the activated command and what next you have to set in this command so all the current status dynamically will be shown in this input tool tip so at the bottom in red color you will see command line so to activate any object any tool we can also give its command in this command line so you can click here and start typing the command of any object or any tool above the command line is the command history highlighted in blue so here you will see all the commands you have used so far at the bottom highlighted in orange is the status bar which will show you the different status of different options so at the left most we have coordinates of the crosshair or its center point which is pick box so first value is x coordinate comma y coordinate and comma z coordinate so as you can see that we are working in autocad classic which is 2d model space so we only have x and y coordinates and z coordinate is zero here as you move the crosshair in model space so you can see the changing coordinates in the status bar because the coordinates of pick box are continuously changing along with the coordinates of crosshair on the status bar we have other tools snap grid ortho polar o snap o track so all these tools basically help us to make the drawing more precisely in model space for example the grid status button will help us to turn on the grid display so when we will turn on the grid so it will open a dotted grid on our drawing limits and you can see that we can freely move our cursor here but if we want to snap to some specific points at specific distance so then we can turn on the snap mode so here you can see that with snap mode on we can snap to specific grid points only so, so these tools will help us to draw precisely and the same way we have object snap and object snap tracking so these are also the helping tools where we have to make uh, drawings with respect to other tools or other objects so these tools on status bar are called status buttons if any of these toolbars are missing in your preview then go to the empty space next to the toolbar and right click here and in this menu go to acad menu and in acad you will see all the toolbars so all the activated toolbars are checked here 
and other toolbars can also be activated from this menu. So if you want to learn in the detail about any of these tools, so you can refer to this book. So this book is very detailed introduction to all these tools of AutoCAD and you can read about all the tools, how to use them properly. So this is all about basic introduction to AutoCAD and its installation procedure. I hope you found this video informative. Your comments and queries are welcome in the comments section below. Like and subscribe the channel to get more informative videos in future. Thank you.